hello friends welcome to my new video in this video i am going to show you that how we can install the opencv matplotlib and numpy in our raspberry pi so first of all why we need opencv matplotlib and numpy why do we need this system uh, i want to tell you that if you are working with image processing or any other kind of image related operations or video related operations then uh, you will need the opencv Mm, I am not telling that the UV need OpenCV. There are many, also there are many other platforms such as uh, SimpleCV and uh, other. There are a lot of stuff is available. But uh, I have a good experience in OpenCV. I have worked with it, so I am. I will prefer only OpenCV for my projects. So today I am going to show you that how we can install the OpenCV in our Raspberry Pi. Okay. First of all, I want to show you the steps which we will perform. Okay, these are the steps which we will perform to install the OpenCV. First of all, you will install the build essential. These are the dependencies. Uh, this will install the dependencies for our OpenCV, and this is a Python DEV. It will install the drivers for the Python, which will communicate with the our external camera or any other things. In our Raspberry Pi, and uh, the G four point eight is the replacement of a G seven seven compiler uh, means GCC compiler. It will uh, needed basically in the our project it is not needed, so it will work as dependency. You have to install it, and uh, the fourth one is the OpenCV which uh, we are talking about, and third is and next is Matplotlib which is for the plotting and uh, other uh, drawing stuff anything. And the final one is the numpy. Numpy is for the mathematical calculation. Okay, so so now we are going to start. First of all, we will log into our Raspberry Pi terminal, and uh, this is Putty. Uh, here we have to insert the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So in the my previous video, I have shown you that uh, how we can find the IP address. Just open command window and type arp minus k. And this is the address of our Raspberry Pi. Okay, just copy it and minimize it and paste it here. Okay. Now provide your username and password. Okay. Now we are in our terminal. So now these are the steps which we will uh, follow. And uh, now why we are going through the first step. Just copy it and paste it to your putty terminal. Okay. Now, what is this? Now, this is your putty terminal. Just paste it here. Okay. Paste. Just hit enter and it will download the essential package for you. Uh, it is showing me that it is already the newest version because I have already installed this in my Raspberry Pi. So, it is showing me that you have already newest version and now coming to the second step uh, I will copy it from here mm, just copy it and uh, come here to the Raspberry Pi terminal and just paste hit enter uh, it will download the drivers for your python to communicate with your external hardware and uh, it is again showing that it is already in the newest version so we will proceed to our next step g one it is for the gcc compiler replacement but uh, uh, where is our terminal this is our terminal let's paste it here it is again showing, uh, showing us that it is already the newest version because i have installed it in it and uh, we are proceeding to fourth step copy it and uh, just paste it here open cv this is we will install the open cv okay this is also the newest version and uh, the last final step is is installing the matplotlib okay just mm, matplotlib is also installed in my system and the final step is installing the numpy okay this is the numpy and uh, the numpy is also the newest version 
so we have installed all the packages in our raspberry pi so now OpenCV is with us, Matplotlib is with us, and uh, third, which is NumPy, is with us. So, how to check that whether it uh, they are installed properly in our system or not? So, then you have to go for Python. Python. In Python, import all the modules which you have installed. Okay, just import NumPy. Here, NumPy is with us and uh, second import the matplotlib matplotlib is also available with us and the third install import the opencv okay for opencv you will not import opencv you will import cv2 okay okay all the three modules are having with us are available with us now we can proceed for our projects so exit from the python now this is our terminal uh, okay again i want to show you the steps these are the steps you can follow to install the open cv in your system okay uh, thank you for watching my this video in the next video i will come up with uh, some interesting projects uh, on the open cv and so stay tuned with me thank you for watching my this video